Elgato is sponsoring me to teach you how to connect your Elgato Wavelink software, the official software for this microphone, over to OBS so you can get some recording and some live streaming done. What do I mean by that? Well, it's really simple here, guys. The Wavelink software allows you to bring in Spotify, game audio, video conferencing, Discord, any audio on your computer, and combine it digitally into one simple and easy to use digital audio mixer, this guy right over here. And the reason why I recommend this to my clients, instead of using audio cables and all this com complicated garbage, you can just put it all in the simple interface and combine multiple inputs and then bring it over to your OBS right here through one channel, essentially. What do I mean by that? Check out the example. So here I have my mic going, it's the mic you're listening to right now, and I added Spotify, just an example. So if I wanna bring over three different types of inputs from my Wavelink software over to OBS, here's how I'm going to do it. So option number one in OBS, and I'm gonna do individual tutorials on each of these, but I'm just gonna quickly review all three options for you, okay? So if you wanna bring that audio over, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here into sources in OBS, click the plus button, and then we're going to do an audio input capture. From audio input capture, the first example we're gonna do is just mic in. And what this is, is this is the first example of how you can bring in audio, which is just by bringing in only the microphone audio from your Elgato Wave 1. You can select devices and notice mic in is there. Never leave this on to the default, okay? And then once you click mic in, then you click okay, then as you'll see here in OBS, mic in is now in, OBS and only my microphone is coming through, not Spotify audio, okay? So it's only pulling the audio from this input channel right over here, nothing else. Got it? Check. The next thing that you'll wanna do, the next example of how you can bring audio over is you may wanna bring over your monitor mix into OBS. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this output right here called monitor mix, where you can decide in your Wavelink mixer which uh, which things will be played into that monitor mix by clicking the headphone jack or not, or adjusting the volume level or not on different channels in Wavelink software to determine what goes through monitor mix. So the headphone, that channel is your monitor mix. How do you bring that into OBS? Super simple guys, exact same process. Hit the plus button, hit audio input capture, and then you're gonna turn, you're gonna call it monitor mix, hit okay. And then same menu pops up and then you're going to choose Wavelink Monitor. Once you do that, go ahead and hit OK and then boom, now your monitor mix is coming through here in OBS. Got it? And the exact same thing is the case, I'm going to remove it, the exact same thing is the case for your um, stream mix. And the stream mix is probably the most common mix that you guys are going to want to bring into OBS. That's your master mix for most people of what you want your viewers to actually hear in the recording and in the live stream. Exact same process here, guys. It's ultra simple. Hit the plus button on sources, add an audio input capture, call it stream mix, then hit okay. And then you're going to select stream mix here from your device in OBS, Wavelink stream right here. And then you're going to hit okay. And then boom, there it is. Your stream mix is coming through. And like I said earlier, you can adjust what's going into your stream mix by clicking this button right here under each channel. See that? And see that? If I removed both of these channels from the stream mix as an example, you'll notice that the stream mix here in Wavelink software is no longer getting any signal. And so when we look in OBS, notice how the stream mix is dead. But then if we go into the Wavelink software and I uncheck that and I uncheck this, now that audio in the mixer from these two channels is active and now that audio is being pumped into the stream mix. Got it? Those are all three types of uh, mixes that you can bring in. I'll do individual tutorial videos on each of those, but that's how you bring your audio from the Wavelink software over to OBS with the Elgato Wave 1 microphone. It's the most simple solution, really to do digital audio mixing on your computer. Pretty much every consulting client I've recommended to it has used it and it loves it because it makes their life easier. Look, if you wanna pick this mic up, I've got links below and also the official accessories for the mic are down there as well. Adios, amigos.